up everyone, welcome back. I want to start off this video by saying a big, 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 big thank you to all of you. This week I managed to reach 10,000 subscribers and I'm so unbelievably grateful. I'm in so much shock and I'm just so thankful for all of you who share, who like, who comment on my video every time I post. I do see familiar faces in my comments all the time and I absolutely love that and appreciate you guys. Anyway, moving on to the video. This week's video is inspired by my cube shelf that I made last week. It has helped me so much with storage, especially in my craft room, and I figured I'd make something that would be just as functional, but for bathrooms. So anyway, let's get started. So we're going to start off with these 5x7 frames, and this is to form the door. So what you're going to do is remove all of the insides and the glass, and then with some side cutters, you're going to remove those little metal pieces. And it's important that you get this specific frame because that's the one that fits this crate. Next, you're going to need some hinges, and I got these for $0.97 cents at Walmart. And with some E6000, I just added E6000 to one side and then pressed that on the inside of my crate. And then you're going to want to position some masking tape to keep it in place. And you want to make sure that you position it to where the door can actually open. So this is just an extra step. I added some baby oil just in case any of the glue seeped onto the middle. So once it's dry, I added a little bit more of the E6000 to the very, very edge. And then I grabbed my frame and positioned it right on top, making sure that all sides were aligned. So once it dries, you should be able to open it with no problem and you want to remove the masking tape. So at this point, you can assemble your whole crate and you can decide what side you want the doors to open. So to assemble, I just grabbed one side of the crate and I lined it with the E6000. It's the exact same step I did to do my shelf video, but this one you can't see because I use clear E6000 instead of white. So once I was done, I just pressed it up against the wall and against the other crate and then with this little Dollar Tree clip, I clipped it into place and then I kept building up and I did three rows of three. So to put those rows together, I did do this with the zip ties, which is the exact same step. So in between those little crevices, you're just going to want to place zip ties and then cut off the little excess piece. So once you put enough, everything should stay in place. And now with this Dollar Tree paper holder, what I did was remove the lining and add some E6000 to that. And then I pressed it up directly against the crates. And I also used some hooks on the other side and this was just to hold stuff like loofah or brushes. So once everything was dry, I took it outside and gave it a coat of Rust-Oleum's metallic spray paint. And when that was dry, it was time to assemble. So to have the door close, I used this Dollar Tree magnetic strip and I removed the lining and with a little bit of hot glue, I added it to the bottom. So to have the door actually shut, I added three metal thumbtacks to the bottom and it closed perfectly. So to add the glass, I added E6000 to the sides and a little bit of hot glue to the top since E6000 doesn't dry right away. And then I added my glass on there. And that's it guys, you have a bathroom cabinet. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thank you so very much for watching.